clean my Atlantis. Um, I read through the book and it explains how to clean the shuttle race. Uh, the half moon bit that you take out is the shuttle. The shuttle race is what's left in. That's the circle that's left in that the shuttle fits into. And obviously, what do they call these? They call it knobs A. They just clip off and then clip on to the dimples. Uh, so, the, you on the centre of the shuttle, that's the half moon that you take out, uh, you oil one drop on the spike, the centre bit that sticks up, and the shuttle race, that's what's left in, the full circle, that whole thing inside, you put one drop on the bottom. That's because there's a lot of friction caused with the shuttle continually moving. So you just oil them two bits. Then when you put it back in, after doing that, and you've brushed it all, and you've read your book where it says about the oiling section, and that's and you've got little arrows on your pictures. Now, if you haven't got a book, then I'd recommend you trying to find one. And I'll try and find the site where you can get a majority of them free. But I do pay for the majority of mine. But this one came with it, so I was lucky there. The original. And then you, it's like needle, uh, knees and elbows. All your joints, all your things that move. So everything that moves, you oil because it's rubbing against each other. And you, don't, you want that to stay smooth. When you've done all that, this is a bit like the Jones in the last one, then obviously you put it, pick it up and put it back. This one just pulls open. Let's just go around the other side to see what I'm doing. This one just pulls open. And uh, then you need, uh, you need a stiff brush or the one that comes with your product. And just brush all that down in there make sure that your electric is not off because there's wires here so it's not plugged in give it a good brush that one goes up and down on that one now I'm not going to take the top off because I did that not long back but again uh, that shows you below and that shows you under the cover of wet oil but I've done that recently so I'm not going to do that again um, but read your book give it a good Once you give it a good brush, then you're absolutely 100% sure that you've got all your lint removed. Just check what you can see inside there. What looks like a joint that you can actually get at. It's the only one I can see is one just inside. And all the rest I would have to remove the top cover. So next thing I'd do is give it a wash. I'll just give it a wipe over with a warm soapy cloth. Sure you get all the dust and the bits off that you've made. Once you 
over to wash, populate. And then we'll check the bobbin. Drying it up. So this time we're going to talk about the threading the bobbin case. All machines can be different from each other. So you've got that in shot, yes. And it says Hold the bobbin case with your left hand and put the bobbin into the bobbin case with your right hand, leaving about two inches of thread end unwound. As the bobbin is being inserted in the bobbin case, the thread throw you will note is clockwise. So they give you pictures, they give you a description. So basically, that's it, that's how you hold that. So you hold by pulling the lever, insert your bobbin case and then check which way you are going. Let's just get that in again, it's not in right, that's it. This one is going anti-clockwise. But the correct way is clockwise. Take it out, turn it round. And you can see it's actually going clockwise. So I've got the bobbin in correctly. And then obviously then you can let go. That'll secure it inside. Pull the thread up and push through like you normally would. And then double check it's still going clockwise, which is that way. And then the way to test the bobbin is to hold the cotton do you see that's going down a long way just as i gently nudge it that's to me that's too loose so with the appropriate size and you've usually got one where you push it through you've usually got one above it screw there's usually two Sometimes there's two, and this one there's one. Now, again, to tighten is clockwise. I think if I've got this right, it's anti-clock, we'll find out. I'm going to turn it a quarter of a turn. Even this is might not be small enough. Yeah, that's a quarter of a turn. That should be tighter. Like that. Well, let's do it again. Just gently shove it down. And it's not moving at all. Turn it back. As you only turned it a quarter of a turn, so you only need half of that to go back. Sometimes this is trial and error and you have to put it in and get it out to get it right and you'll feel it when it's right and you'll see it in your stitching. Now it's only moving down a little bit of the way, it's not going down fully. I should try that. If that's not right then I should just notch it round slightly, only a bit. Just goes a little bit tighter but we'll see it and you won't be able to tell till you put it in your machine. Right, I've set it up, except for I can't find my foot. So I've put the zipper foot on just so I can just test it. And then I'm going to have to look through my machines to find out why. So I've done everything I can to make it uh, clean and oiled. And, uh, and I've already done some stitching. Um, I've made sure that my feed dogs are up and not down. I've tested it on two and a half and three. 
I've made sure my my needle is in the right place next to so I've moved that over made sure that my decorative stitch is off and it's on naught correct um, and then tested uh, checked in the book that I've threaded took the right way once you've done all that all you've got left to do is sew so and then you just do a few I'm going to now we're going to do a four stitch make sure your needle is down before you pivot I'm now going to do a five stitch and then hold the back open and have a look to see what your stitches are doing it is white on white because I've left the original another thing then if you are having problems with the bobbin make sure that the cotton that's on the bobbin was wound by the machine sometimes you can't transfer from machine to machine it depends how funny they are there's been different sizes the bottom is white and it's absolutely perfect so i've done the bobbin correctly you know when i showed you how to do the tension on your bobbin so that's perfect there's no pulling there's no loose stitches um, and on the top again it's exactly the same so I've now got this on three and there's no pulling it's I've got orange in and the stitches are absolutely perfect I do like this uh, machine I must admit so there you go so it just, that's all ready to go the other thing I will do is just lift that up take it off before I put it away is just take a bit of cotton fabric that's it right, there you go there's a light at the back of this one switch that off unplug it but the other thing I will do is write on it when I can find a pen it's always the same when you're doing the video another time a pen will be there don't know where my pens are today's date what you've done to the machine uh, so but today's date oiled and cleaned Let's get some tape, stick it on, so the next time you use this machine you'll know that it's actually it's been done and also I should put new needle. Always change your needle when you're testing the machine after cleaning and oiling. There you go then, so that's the Atlantis. You make sure it's threaded up the correct way. Oil it according to your book, so that goes now in there. There you go, and I've got to find my foot. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a good day.